The question, if I understand it, is whether a person can register the trademark for their logo or for their products. And if you've spent any time talking to lawyers, you know the answer is almost always, it depends. Assuming that there's no likelihood of confusion between your product or your logo and someone else's that's already registered, then you have to look at the spectrum of distinctiveness to determine the likelihood of your trademark being registered by the USPTO. The spectrum of distinctiveness goes from fanciful to arbitrary to suggestive to descriptive and lastly, generic. Generic's at one end of the spectrum of distinctiveness. On its own, it's impossible to register a generic term as part of a trademark. And in general, they're so descriptive that they can't really serve as a, as a trademark. For example, if I wanted to open a bagel shop and the sign that I operated under was bagel shop, and then I went to register or apply to register that mark with the USPTO, it would be turned down as a generic term. Next in the spectrum is descriptive. And the example that you might see for descriptive is if I wanted to sell yogurt and I wanted to call the brand of yogurt that I sold creamy. If creamy is my brand, it would probably be rejected as descriptive, but there is a way to get it registered if I've been operating under that brand for long enough that I can provide evidence to the USPTO that there's a secondary meaning in the marketplace or in the mind of the consumers when they're thinking about creamy in relation to my brand of yogurt. Next on the spectrum would be suggestive terms. An example there would be copper tone for sun tanning products. Copper tone doesn't describe the product, but it does suggest the copper tone of the tan that you'll get from using the product. Next on the spectrum of distinctiveness is arbitrary. And that's for a word that is known in the language, for example, Apple, but with relation to a product that has nothing to do with, in this example, Apple, like computers. Apple computers can be registered as a trademark because the word Apple is not related to computers in general. And lastly, the most extreme on this spectrum of distinctiveness is fanciful. These are words that are made up, basically. Examples would be Exxon or Pepsi. These are words that don't exist in the language except with relation to the name of the brand that they describe. Those are the easiest to register because they're the farthest along on the spectrum of distinctiveness.